prefer to store the items in your wardrobe as your sexy sweats? If so, you may need to bring the sexy back into your wardrobe. In this series, we are going to learn to tart it up a little bit, and what better way than to look at the style icons from pop music. This series is called Pop Tarts. So while it would be delicious and fattening to, to discuss these pop tarts, we are actually going to be looking at these kinds of delicious low fat percentage pop tarts. So whether you are a mom of three or grandmother of three, there's always room for a little tart. In this episode, we will be looking at the reigning queen of pop, Beyonce, to learn how to tart it up. This is Pop-Tarts. So though, for those of you unfamiliar with the term tart, it is more of a British term. However, if you were to look it up in the Urban Dictionary, a tart is defined as a nubile young temptress who dresses teasingly and provocatively. Now, I know just reading that, some of you want to press pause in the video or exit out of it right now and you go, this is definitely not me. I have nothing to learn from Beyonce. There's nothing she wears that I could wear. I would say just hold on, give me a few more minutes to allow me to prove my case. Because all of us can tart it up just a little bit, okay? So in this series, we are going to be using something known as the tart scale. So maybe you're a mom, you have to go to mommy and me, you can just tart it up a little bit. You wouldn't feel comfortable being too sexy at Gymboree, although you can go that angle if you want to, I don't judge. However, you may want just a little bit of tart. So I'm going to give you some options for those of you that are at that end of the scale. Then there's those of you, maybe you want a little half tart, you know, you can only dress so sexy at work, you can't look like you're going out to the club. I'm going to have options that are workplace appropriate. Or maybe you're just uh, a little bit older and you don't feel comfortable doing that. You don't want to be caught wearing the same exact clothes as a teenager, right? So I'm going to give you options a little sexy again, but not going full scale. Then there's those of you that are like, I am looking for a man. I am looking for a partner. I need to learn how to tart it up. You want to have the romantic dates. You want to have somebody in your life. Or you just want to have fun and you want to really tart it up and go whole tart. I have options for you as well. So again, allow me to prove my case that all of you watching this video can tart it up just a little bit and you will be able to take style inspiration from Beyonce and incorporate it into your looks. A lot of times you see these stars and you're going, I can't learn absolutely anything from them. I don't look like them. I don't have their body shape. And you completely just shut down or are not even open to what you can learn there. So allow me to expand your mind. Okay, wait till the very end of the video. And if you don't learn anything, then you don't have to watch the rest of the series, but I bet you there's gonna be things you can take from here. Okay, so we have the tart scale. So whichever position you are comfortable with on the tart scale, that's what you can go with, all right? So in this series, like I said, we are gonna be taking style inspiration and learn how to tart it up by looking at different pop icons. So this very first video, we'll look at Beyonce, but we're also going to look at Katy Perry, Rihanna, Miley Cyrus, and finally we'll finish it up with Britney Spears. And like I said, I know those of you are shaking your head like this series is not going to apply to me, Aisha. You've gone too far out now. Again, let me prove it to you and show you some of the looks that I created. This very first one, though, is a lot of fun because it is looking at Beyonce. Okay. So here we go, buckle up, you're gonna learn something, hang on, at least watch the first video, and then you can make a decision. So here we go, here's the look from Beyonce. Okay, this was an image that was posted on her Instagram. Okay, you see it's a very cute, trendy outfit. She has these acid watch, acid wash, super short jean shorts, very cute, and then she has like this crop top, black flower print Adidas shirt, okay? And it just shows a little hint of tummy. So, those of you going, I do not have Beyonce's shape, <laughs> I do not have Beyonce's personal trainer, there's no way that I could pull off this look. The good news, I'm not asking you to, but there are style cues that you can take from this, again, to tart up your wardrobe. And you know if your wardrobe could use a little bit of sexy, right? If it's, if it's been a while, you don't feel so good in it, you know, your husband, your partner hasn't said anything like, ooh, baby, you know, you know you need to do some work on that area. So that's what I'm helping with. And we're gonna use this Beyonce outfit as inspiration. So here we go, the tart scale. 
we're gonna start with a little bit of Tarte. And to do this, we are gonna take inspiration from her acid wash shorts. So again, these acid wash style jeans, I love these. They are very trendy right now. Anybody can get them. They come in all shapes and sizes and price points, okay? But it is something very trendy, something a little tartish. So even if you are a grandmother of three, you can find a pair of acid wash jeans that'll work for you that won't look too teeny bopper. Again, these ones you can see are very clean. They don't have the holes and tears in them, which is probably a style I would prefer a little bit more, but you don't have to get them like that. You can get them like the one shown here on the screen. And you can see this outfit has just a little bit of tart. So it does have the acid wash jeans, red high heels, and again, we have a black top with flower print on it just like Beyonce, but it's long. There's no stomach showing. It's not form fitting, but it's still very cute very trendy and again just a little tartish because of your denim choice and then wearing it with the high heels so again this is a little tart is there anybody watching this video that would not be able to wear this outfit no okay you can do this a little tart everybody can do this so let's move on to half tart this might be a little bit more of out of your comfort zone maybe not everybody would want to wear this but let me just show you this option Okay, so here we go. Again, the inspiration, you can see it has the black top with the flower print. It's the inspiration from the Beyonce outfit, and it's a crop top. But let me explain this to you. So this isn't like you're showing your belly button off and you're like, I'm, <laughs> I've had multiple babies. I have stretch marks. Maybe, you know, you have stuff going on in the stomach you don't want to show people. Um, so you're thinking you can't wear this. Actually, you can probably get away with doing this. So this crop top is meant to be worn where it like skims the very top of your jeans. So there's no skin showing unless, you know, you reach up for something really high or you bend over and then there would be skin exposed. But in general, it's a crop top, but it's a, a longer one. So let's say it would cover kind of like your, your belt loops or half of the button on the jeans, okay? And then it's just black jeans with simple black Flats, okay, what makes this tartish is that it is you do show a little bit of skin if you were like I said to reach or to bend over But it's a crop top and most of you would go like okay Just put that you know if you see that in the store You wouldn't even go over to look at it and go well Maybe there's a way that I could actually wear this and again It's a way to bring the sexy make it a little bit a tartish have some things like this in your wardrobe You know to sexy it up a little bit, but it's an option that many of you watching the video now would be able to do and I think before if you were shopping for these items you would automatically discount them and not even explore this potential option again it's not for everybody It'll, it is a little bit more sexy than the little tart look that I showed you originally but again you want to tart it up a little more here's the half tart look now here we go okay this is the whole tart okay this is you want to go out you want to have some fun you want to meet somebody and you really want to tart it up nothing wrong with that so here is the look here for this again everybody's not going to be able to pull this off although I could give variations of this other people might be able to do so we have the adidas top it's a tank top I love it it's a print it doesn't have the flower print but it's a print we have instead of the short shorts we do have a denim um, kind of mini skirt, but I'm just going to say denim skirt and black ankle boots. So you can see this is an outfit, very trendy, very sexy to wear. You're showing your arms, you're showing your, you know, your collarbones, you're showing a lot of leg. It's very sexy and I like it because you're wearing the denim skirt, but it has a little edge to it by wearing it with the ankle boots as opposed to high heels. Again, if I could also make this look half tart if I wanted to, I would make a longer denim skirt. You can for sure do that. And maybe you have the tank top and you just add a jacket over it so your arms aren't, aren't exposed. So there's a way, again, to take this look and make it work for you, um, even if you don't want to show quite as much skin, okay? So again, you see the outfits, don't automatically discount them. Have an open mind and go, okay, well, how could I make this work for me? How could I make it comfortable for my body? How can I make this work in the workplace? And you have to really look at these different things, but again, and it brings a little sexy, a little excitement to your wardrobe by just having pieces like this in there and making that effort to add these elements to your wardrobe. So here we are. Here is what we're calling the remix. So here are the three um, looks we put together before, the little tart, the half tart, and the whole tart, right? 
So here's the looks. Can you mix and match within this? Of course you can, so let's mix and match. Boom, there you go. So you can see now the look all the way on the left. We've just added the ankle boots. We've gotten rid of the high heels. And then the, book, and then the look all the way on the right hand side of the screen. We've added the black jeans to the Adidas tank top and then added the red high heels to it. So again, now that look that's on the right, it's not really bold heart, right? It's not that sexy. We're covering up a lot more of the body. We're not showing as much skin, but you're still having those form-fitting black jeans. You have the high heel, um, the red high heels, and you have the tank top on. That is still a very sexy look. Again, if you're uncomfortable with having your arms out, you can add a jacket to the look. Um, and again, it's still sexy because of the elements that make up the wardrobe and it's sexy without having to show a lot of a lot of skin for those of you that are uncomfortable in doing that, okay? But all the looks that we put together, I wanna show you by taking some of these elements here and putting them into your wardrobe. It's not like you can only wear them one way. There's so many things you can do with them and really looking at the screen now of all the items I presented to you, Everybody watching the video should be able to take one of the items from the screen and be able to incorporate it into their wardrobe to make it a little sexier. And so if you are still not convinced, if you are still not convinced that you can tart up your wardrobe a little bit more, I got more stuff for you. So what I did is prepared a Beyonce case study. It's really a style case study on her formation video. So it has the different looks that she wears in the video. And again, how we can take elements from those looks to create our own looks and, and by, be inspired by that music video. So in the case study, like I said, I have ev something, something for everybody, right? Because again, the style inspiration from this, the pieces that she wears in there, we can incorporate into our own wardrobes even though we are mere mortals and we are not Beyonce. And I wanna show you how to do that. So, if you're a mom, again, maybe you don't wanna be full out sexy, okay? We have some what we're calling mommy tart looks. So you can go take a look at that. We have a weekend tart look, which is something playful that you could just wear on the weekends. We have a date tart look. Again, these are those of you that are like, I am trying to get a man. I am in get a man mode, okay? We have the date tart looks for you. We have the working tart looks. So something that has a little edge, a little personality, a little sexy, but you can get away with wearing it at the office. So those are those looks. And for those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know I do a lot of work with real estate professionals. I even have a book specifically for them and their style. So with this case study, I did make sure to have a special look for real estate professionals. And again, all of these are taking cues from Beyonce's formation video and I've incorporated those pieces into these different looks. So to get this case study, it's completely free. All you have to do is use the link below to download the video, or sorry, to download the case study. So you'll click on the link, it'll open up in the shopping cart and you can see here it says for $0. So just fill out the information and check out completely free and you will get the link to be able to download the case study. And like I said, it has those additional looks. So if this video didn't alone <laughs> um, convince you that you could tart up your wardrobe a little bit, you cannot walk, look, read that case study and see those looks in there and realize that, okay, there is something for everybody, okay, that you can do to tart up your wardrobe a little bit. Not ne not being overtly sexy, but a little bit sexy, a little bit edge, a little su sultry, a little something, something, okay, to your wardrobe. That's why I said, if you're not convinced by this, the case study for sure will. So that has been it. Hopefully you have received a lot of style information from Beyonce and you will go get the case study and get even more style inspiration and be able to replicate some of those outfits. The next video we will be looking at, Katy Perry, that one, that one is sexy and fun as well. This whole series is fun and the outfits in here. So for those of you, you don't even maybe know who some of these artists are or you've just seen some of their outrageous outfits, there's style inspiration that you can take from there. You can add fun elements, you can add sexy elements to your wardrobe and I'm here to show you exactly how to do that with this video series and the various case studies. So please go tart it up a little bit and have fun with your wardrobe again. Thank you for watching this video.